Bat dong! All right, so why am I making a video about Batman's penis? Well, because his penis made an appearance in a comic book and I talk about DC stuff, so I gotta talk about Batman's dingling. No, but seriously, I have to make a video about this because I make DC videos and this is definitely a historical DC moment. As far as I know, I don't think Batman's penis has ever made an appearance in any printed DC comics ever. I think this is the first time that his member has ever came out to say hello, albeit covered in shadow. Okay, so basically DC Comics has a sub-label. It's like an adult label where they push the limits and do more adulty kind of edgy things. And it's called the DC Comics Black Label. And with the Black Label, I'm sure if this is what we're seeing right out of the gate with the first issue of the first story under the Black Label, I'm sure we're going to see a lot more bolder things. A lot more, oh yeah, the days of the Comics Code Authority are long gone. So first, let me tell you what happened. Issue number one of The Damned, about halfway through, Batman's taking off his tattered, thrashed bat suit, and he's going into a vault to put on another one. And on the way, of course, he takes off the suit, and there's a couple frames where Batman's little fella makes an appearance. More than one frame. In shadow, but it's there. Now, because of this, Comic book news sites have just gone bonkers talking about it, and I can't blame them because it's Batman's dingling. Now, there were two versions of the dam released there was the print version, and then there was the digital version, which they had edited it out, and it's just black. Where there was, there is no more. I don't know exactly why DC decided to do this. I think that basically including it in the first place was like. We're the Black Label, and we're coming out of the gates, running, and this is what we are. We are not for kids, and just to prove it, here's a bat dong. I think that DC was trying to make a statement with this. We are going to push the boundaries with the Black Label, and we are going to tell stories that you absolutely won't see in regular continuity, because the Black Label exists completely outside of regular continuity. Everything you read in the Black Label does not affect regular continuity. They're separate. Think of the Black Label as kind of like the old Elseworlds sort of label, where they kind of told stories they couldn't tell in the regular DC universe and ruin that continuity. So how do I feel about Batman's wiener being in the story? I don't really think it had to be there. I'm glad DC took it out. It is Batman, a well-known character by children, and you can say that it's for a grown-up, but kids are still gonna get their hands on that and read it. I guarantee you thousands of kids have already read it and already seen the bat dong. I don't think DC's wrong for putting it in there. I just don't think it's necessary. I think it's a good thing they took it out because the story is just as good without it. And I've read the one without it, and the, the points are proven, and the story is just as good. But you know what? I'm just one dork with one set of opinions and one viewpoint. What are yours? Let me know down in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. Bat dong, yay or nay? Let me know down below. If you like this video, please bop it with a like. And if you want to see more of my face and my DC content and the kind of things that I spew forth onto the internet, hit the subscribe button, possibly ding the bell if you'd like to get notified of new videos. It works sometimes. And I will see you in the next one. Have an awesome day, super friends. Take care.